Hello everyone. Hello YouTube. Hello all of my courtiers. Hello everybody on Patreon. If there's a really big backstory to today's vlog, but to everybody here on the family channel, hey, how you doing? Today's kind of a little special day. I've been working up to this for a couple months. My little brother has been basically confined to the house, not purposefully, but he really doesn't get out. He really doesn't get to do anything. He really doesn't get to experience things. He's just not living the life that a child should be living. And back in the very far past when he was a baby, I was the fun one of the family. We had Sunday sister fun days. I would take him out picnicking and on adventures and to the beach. And I was always the one like making his life magical. And then I went to Los Angeles and came back. COVID happened. We were confined to the house, right? But recently, his parents have split up. And with all the adults in his life being really focused on finances, I felt really bad that he was always in the house. But I mean, at the time I was like, I don't know what to do. In my mind, I had always had this thing where I missed figure skating. I've always been a figure skater. I had a you know personal coach. Even when I was in Los Angeles, I started trying to pursue it again. And then everything just always kept getting in the, in the way. So it was like, on a back burner. So being up here, I started looking into it again once I became comfortable. And then when I started getting, getting really excited about doing it, my brain automatically went to my little brother and I'm like, my God, but what about my brother? Like he's still in the house. He's not doing anything other than playing video games. And I don't think his health is doing that great. You can see a real difference in the way he is now versus vlogs that I did with him years ago. There's a very clear difference and you can see the impact on his health. And so it's always been a concern of mine. And I kind of had an epiphany. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe we can find a way where my brother can participate with me. And this can be something we do together. He enjoys doing things with me. He's not, doesn't really like to be by himself. He doesn't like to be dropped off and shifted off to like a class or something. He enjoys, he's always enjoyed my participation. That's always how we've done things. So even when he was a baby, I took him skating with me and he absolutely adored it. So I'm like, he's old enough to really take classes. He needs to work on his social skills. So he'll be around other children, but I will be on the ice with him at the same time. Let me see if I can find a way to make this happen. So I found a place that will allow us to both take classes at the same time on the same ice together. Like we won't be in the same class. He'll be with kids and I'll be with like more advanced people, but we'll still be on the ice together. I can see him, I can film him, I can wave to him. We'll be in the same vicinity. And then after class, we'll skate together and I can help him and help him develop. He'll finally have that interaction he's been missing for years. Basically the gist is I wanted to just make a sacrifice so that my brother could just have some fun, be a kid again. And so I didn't mind like working my absolute tail off so that I could include him in this little thing. And he does not know what's about to happen. He does not know that I'm pulling him out of school a little bit early so that we can get to the rink on time. He does not know that I have a change of clothes for him. He does not know he's starting class today. He has no idea why his sister is at his school telling him we're leaving early, but I'm sure he's not gonna put up a fight and he's always like enjoyed spending time with me. So it'll, it'll be really, really fun. And I'm excited to just see that kid smile and to just be happy and just at least for a little bit, pretend like everything is normal and okay. Regardless of if I have to deal with my mother, one thing everybody who knows me knows, you will not win. I am the most vicious sister you have done ever seen in your life. So you can try to argue with me and you can try to fight with me and you can try to say whatever you want. But guess what? My brother is going to smile today and I don't give a damn what anybody has to say about it. So those of you who are on Patreon, you know what's going down. Those of you here, you're just going to see a kid be happy today and we'll get to watch him develop through these vlogs that I do because it's a six week class. And depending on, you know, what's happening when class ends, I have intentions of continuing on and letting him, you know, continue to have fun. Some people are probably like, how do you know he's going to enjoy it? Because I know my little brother. And honestly, he's just going to enjoy anything at this point that's going to get him out of this house and give him some of the attention that you know, has been neglected towards him. He hasn't had the type of investment a child should have in their, you know, welfare and happiness and everything. So I'm gonna like make sure my brother gets that. We're gonna have fun today. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited. Like, you know, those of you on Patreon know, a couple minutes ago before I put my white jacket on, I was wearing this black shirt and I wasn't very happy. But as I'm like talking myself through this, I'm getting more and more happy and more excited and I can't wait to see his happy little face and it's just gonna be the best thing ever and I'm totally gonna film it all and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's 
get started. Hey, so I'm here picking up my little brother from school almost, I think almost an hour early, maybe 45 minutes early. And there's already parents like lined up to pick up their kids. This is why I don't like doing the pickup thing. Like my mom usually does it. I've done it for a while, but I hate it. I hate it. These parents are insane. How are you lining up an hour early to pick up your kids? And this is why I have to come get him early because we have so far to travel and we can't be stopped by traffic. I don't want him being late to his first class. Like I want him to have time to change and figure out where he's supposed to go, where I'm supposed to go, where we're gonna be at, like what the plan is because we got teachers and other kids to coordinate with. So I'm just picking him up early. It's just crazy that there's already parents out here demonstrating why I have to pick him up early. I feel so bad for you other parents out there who just have to do this because I, I have heard stories of what other schools are like when it comes to pick up and it's insane. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm here to pick up my little brother. <laughs> Hi, it is your most fabulous sister. I know, right? So it turns out like there's a list of people that are allowed to kidnap you from school, and I'm on there. <laughs> All right, uh, do I need anything else? We good? Nope, that's it. Thank All right, so Wayne, we got things to do today, so let's go. We don't have time to waste. That's why I came and got you early. Get out of the door. Let's go. We're making a break for it. Run for your life. So what are we doing? We're going on an adventure. Let's go. How are you feeling right now? Do we need to get you a snicky snack or are you still like got food in your belly? You're okay? For now? Okay. Because we got plans, bro. So what would you say if I told you we were going to do something kind of fun today? What, what, what do you think about going to do something kind of fun today? Does going to have some fun sound like fun? Yeah. We're gonna go on like a, a little a little adventure. All right, Wayne, you ready to start or continue our little adventure? We haven't really done anything yet. We just drove somewhere. He doesn't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, an upset baby. We gotta get your bag out of the trunk. Your other bag, not your school bag. That's your school bag, we don't need that one. Sister packed you another bag. <laughs> you know, haven't been to Six Flags and you've never been to the snow and now you don't know how to open a trunk? Oh my goodness. See, you have another bag. We're not gonna bring it. We just need to take stuff out of it. Yes. Or maybe we can, well, I definitely want that. I mean, I love that. You know I love my GoPro. <laughs> but no, we got other stuff in here too. Cause we gotta be able to keep you warm and everything. Oh, by the way, that's Snoopy. And that's Woodchuck. Gosh darn kids don't know who Snoopy is. Here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Me too. 
<laughs> Welcome. Come on, come look. That's where we're gonna be. Oh, she's she's gonna hit it. She's gonna do it. Yep. She's a good one. I like her. Your feet are huge. Some duck feet. Good thing we're doing this now because you're gonna outgrow the chart and then we're not gonna have any shoes for you. Um, I think you put your put your foot on the twelfth. Let's see. You are lying, dude. There's no way. This chart is wrong. This chart is wrong. Cause there's no way. Me and you have to be the same. Oh my god, is your foot bigger than mine? No way, dude. Your foot's bigger than mine? When did that happen? You're 10. Jeez, dude. Alrighty. Can I have that too? Wait. Pair this one. Still gotta do my shoes. We gotta figure out who your teacher is, too. You're a pro. It is cool. We're gonna have to get you a, the typical socks that you wanna wear are gonna come all the way up to here, but they have to be thin. So I'm gonna get you some, some thin ones that come up to your, up here. So it's not as cool. Trust me, in about five minutes, you won't even notice. I can't believe you've grown that big. Those are legit man skates. I gotta show you the picture of when you first went skating. Your skates were legit that big. All right, my turn. <laughs> my socks are too thick. I don't like them. <laughs> Honestly, Dwayne, most people can't. It takes a little bit of practice. I'll stand up with you. We can kind of, you gotta like feel out your balance. Yeah. Oh, well there you go, what are you complaining about? A lot of people can't do that. They, they stand up and go straight down. So you're fine, you're already ahead of the game. No problem. Well, I wasn't walking, Well, we're not here to walk anyways. We're here to skate, so there. I think you've just never seen a hockey game, but you know what hockey is. So, so far, Wayne is doing better than I thought. You're not wobble. That's you. Oh, you're not, you're not a snowplow. That's you. It's over there. So you're telling me you 
you weren't doing any spins? All right, you know what, dude? Sister got your back. This is for future Wayne. When he's all good and he's showing up everybody on the ice. That was almost a beautiful fall. I think you can fall better than that. That was like that was like a number three, and I've I've seen tens. Oh Wayne. Come on. Everybody falls. Come on. You got this. It's only your first day. Sports are hard, Wayne. <laughs> it's all right. It takes practice. We will learn together. But since we have done such a good job in our sporting adventure, I'm thinking we're gonna go out to eat. What are you thinking about eating, Wayne? What do you wanna eat? Hmm? Food. Obviously. Oh, I'm carrying everything. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna eat food. What kind of food? We gotta eat something. Athletes must be fed. See, and sister chose like the nice sport because football, you know what they do in football? They hit you all day. <laughs> and boxing, football and boxing. And UFC, ah, my skate! Sister would not subject you to the beat up. I can do that myself. <laughs> So I was kind of thinking that maybe you would want to try sushi. Yeah? All right, let's do sushi. Because I know you've never had sushi and you said you wanted to have it. So today, it's going to be also Dwayne Try Sushi. Yay. <laughs> 